said it could get dangerous. I said, I said, I said it could get dangerous. I said it could get dangerous. <laughs> could get dangerous. No, but this is it. This is all I got. Um, this is all I've got in my carts or in my places. I ordered that first day and that second day. Um, and these are the second day orders. So make a nice. There's a deck here, which is Uncover Your Past Lives Oracle. And I saw someone else use it recently, and I was like, I like that. I want to see that. Um, and so it has, like, it has things on it for your past lives. And it tells you, like, who you might have been. So, again, I could use this in my work. Like, when people want to book a past life reading with me, I have all my past life decks. And now this one, I can add to it. It's little circles. And it's good size, Okay. So, uh, boop, 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 I opened right up to how to use this card fonts, fronts and backs, which was in the middle of the book. So it's like, this is how to use it. While the subcategories on the card fronts are related to the theme on that card front, it is not the same for the card backs. The categories on the card backs aren't associated with one another, nor are they related to the subject of the card front. See the manual for more information on how to use the card fronts and card backs. So fronts and the backs are different but like this one here says t like they have time frame identity lessons so on the back um of this one here all right so this one says this says tribe monastery cult commune so, so this is about people who were in group living okay you could have had group living in in another life your death could have been through suicide in southern europe um, there could have been trauma or mental illnesses. There, you could have a Gnostic or a dualistic faith. You could be separated by distance with your love. You could have had a guru or an idol identity. Um, and, and so your forgiveness is lesson, lesson. Your lesson was forgiveness. Then this one's like, oh, you may have been a law enforcement, a judge. You could have been a lawyer or a lawmaker. Now, I'm going to assume that what this means is like you get one of the fronts and one of the backs. They, they're not associated with each other. So it's like, this one's like, you were a judge. You may have, um, you know, been associated with the law. Self-expression was your lesson. Your death may have been a natural disaster. You could have been in Central or South America. Um, your trauma was being exiled. So you may have done something bad. Um, you had an esoteric faith and an arranged marriage for love. You could have been an older woman as an identity. And you could have lived in the Middle Bronze Age. So again, I'm going to look at the book and figure out exactly how they, how they do this. But I'm assuming it's what I'm saying. It's like, oh, like, oh yeah, because this one's all about exiled, right? And over here, this one says exile. So this one is banishment. So it's like you may have been through banishment. I'm going to double check them all and look at them. I, I want to see how many different types there actually are of these cards. But they are so cool. Um... I feel like I, because I know myself, I'm somebody that could just pick this deck up and use it and not really worry about what the book says. It's like, like what I just did, like, and then use other, like, work slave, enslavement, okay? And then over here, it's abuse of technology. There was an accident. You were located on an island. Um, persecution or torture. So you could have been tortured and enslaved somewhere. And it was like, oops, we accidentally killed you because we were torturing you. Oh, on some island somewhere. That's not fun. Okay? In abuse of technology, somebody may have been abusing something to, to keep you there. And then it could have been a part of your tribe or your commune, right? Somebody that you were in a cult with, right? Maybe you got into a cult and it got a little out of hand, a little out of fun. <laughs> you know, cults are never usually like, oh, that was all fun. That was a great time. <laughs> but um, the time frame, the lesson, the death, and the location. So... On the back of this one, there's a picture. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm going to have to look this up and figure out exactly. Because there is no book here. It's like, oh, yeah, use the book. But there's no book here. So um, I'll figure that out and let you guys know. I'm sure somebody else has the book and knows about it better than I will. Next thing. Next thing in the ding thing. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Next thing in the ding thing. Boop, boop. Next thing in the ding thing. Uh-uh. Next thing, anything, thing. Oh, oh. It was only like two bucks. And the reason why I even got it was because I couldn't do it the way I did it. It was like you could use Afterpay if you hit $20. So um, this was like three bucks or two bucks or something. And I was like, all right, let me just add this. 
so then I could do my after pay because then I only had to pay five dollars for the next four months. But look at this. I got blue feathers. I got the blue feathers. It's so pretty. You know? And it's not like, I feel like it's not like I'm doing anything wrong. It's not like a full-on headband or anything. It's just some feathers in my hair. You know? I know some people get upset, like, with culture appropriation and things like that. But I'm not trying to appropriate anyone's culture. Um, you know, I feel a very, like like Spirit chose me for, for what I do and how I do it and the, 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 the lessons that I've learned. And it was like they weren't taking no for an answer. Like, I, I wasn't ever, ever, like... When I grow up, I'm going to be a shaman. Like, it just happened. And I still don't call myself that because of that cultural stuff. Like, I'm not like, oh, I'm just a, I'm a whatever. But, like, I'm a modern-day one, okay? Then we have the soul truth. You can't deny your soul truth, okay? Like, some of us, and I actually have, you know, Native American in my, I know I do. Because, like, stuff that my, my grandmother used to say, she's called me um, her little Indian longboat. Um, lots of weird stuff and, and just like things that I never thought about when I was a kid that later on I was like she must have been talking about something specific because she died when I was young so I never really got a chance to talk to her and like when my sister tried to look up our ancestry she couldn't find out a lot of things on that side of the family so you know it, only one I know about is Bridget Ahern my great great grandmother who came over on one of those like Mayflower the Nina the Pinta whatever one of them um now this says, how does my body want to move today? And then on the back of it, it says, when we move, we change our state and we raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? Um, how does your body want to move today? Listen and joyfully do. On the hum, but hum, but hum, but hum. Am I focused on what I want most? Um, one reason so few of us achieve what we really want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. Today's soul action says, what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments, prioritize? And am I comparing myself right now? Am I comparing? What are you able to see in another is only visible because it's within you, ready to be brought out. Shine the light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and want is within you. Today's soul action says stop comparing and start creating. And I was just talking to somebody, one of the newest members of my membership on Instagram, and she was saying, you know, like, we were having a lot in common and she's like ready, you know, to create. And sh she's had a lot of the same types of things that I've had happen in my life where it's like, you know, people either love us or hate us. Sometimes they do both. Um, and, and we just want to love people and, and have a good time. We don't want to like be mean. And sometimes because of that, we get like, you know, pushed around a little bit or we put our, we, we shrink down and hide to make other people feel more comfortable. But that's not, that's not a great plan of action if you want to be successful and happy. And then this last thing here, it's my magic spell pure book. Now it's just a, it's just an empty book. It's not an actual spell book, um, but it's very pretty. It's pink. And again, it was only like a couple of dollars and I buy these things all the goddamn time because I can't help it it's one of my addictions I have not bought one in a very long time though um, and I'm getting low on paper in the one I've been using so it's one of those things that will get used I'm probably gonna have a hard time committing to what I want to write in here because it's so pretty and it's like it says magic spell maybe I will do a book of spells and then yeah like oh you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to write the, um, like my new life. I'm going to do the, what the heck is it? Scripting. I'm going to do scripting and I'm going to like, you know, work with the cards and stuff about like what the thing is for me to do today. And I'm going to script a new reality. I'm going to use frequency codes. I'm going to manifest and, um, you know, just, just do it. So like Matt in whatever you speak over your life, whatever you spell over your life, the words that you're spelling, the words that you're spelling as you speak them, you are creating. It says, write your, write down your wish. This magic book is gonna help you. Precious memories, 
Leninote Idea Memo Daybook Since 1981 Tradition Notebook Precious Memories Magic Spells Pure Book Secret. So this is where I'll keep my secrets because I can't tell everybody everything that I'm going to do. And I just saw 10, 10 on the clock because outside energy can throw those things off. So I'm going to write into existence the reality that I want to live. And I suggest other people do that too because that will help you to align with your soul truth. It will help you to align with your mission and your purpose. I have tons and tons of prompts and, and journaling prompts that it's like, hey, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. you know, oh, look at this. As a child in the Viking time, uh, the lesson was about accountability, the death from a broken heart. And over here it says there was a death of a loved one from war or an unexpected disappearance and abandonment. I feel like as a child, the parent was lost at war. And then um, you could have become a slave or a concubine and, and um, ended up dead over a broken heart of the loss of the parent and the abandonment that happened due to war. So this is what I mean, man. It's like we don't even need to know how to read these things without we, we just do it. We're professional. We're professional. And you can be a professional. You just to choose. You just pretend. You know. You create. Like, and not pretend, but own it. You own it. You know. Like snap into it. Look, kidnapped or sold, abused, abandoned, an orphan. This is a different one from what I just said. Spirit will get your back. Spirit will show you what you need. Like it will make sense because spirit, spirit's directing it all. You just need to show up and trust that, like. You're here for a reason, and everything you do has purpose behind it. And and they will give you the right information. Look, lost, infertility, children, um, illegitimacy, fertility. I feel like something has gone on. In a, someone is watching this. You may have been abandoned in another life. You could have had genetic illnesses or contagious illnesses or something that happened um, as a child. And, it, and it, it separated you from your family. And it separated you from your parent and the parent ended up dying um, and he could have enslaved you into a situation where I feel like you didn't live that long after that because it made you sick you know you got sick and you, you died of a broken heart really but I think the broken heart probably made you get sick because that's what happens and I I know that for sure I've seen it happen with myself um, yeah destruction saboteur full helpless maiden destroyer writer messenger um, publisher scribe so I feel like yeah somebody again look star-crossed lovers you could have been somebody that you were deeply in love with and war was the reason for the death um, you could have been an older man in this lifetime and you may have had an esoteric faith and again this could have been in Central South America your self-expression was your lesson there um, I think there was star-crossed lovers because there was an arranged marriage with this one so again if that made, made any sense to you earlier when I mentioned the uh, arranged marriage I feel like war was also a part of that and I and for some reason Rick is coming to mind I know Rick had some stuff with that type of stuff so if you're here Rick this may have been you man this could be your child yeah there could be something going on with the child I remember there's something going on with your child and you got like you know you know um, it's not your fault animals are gonna help you to heal that okay animals are gonna help you to heal whatever happened in that life and there could have been a love affair, uh, power lessons. You needed to step into your power in that lifetime. Um, and I feel like you, you, you're either your child or yourself could have died of a broken heart. Take it as it resonates. You know, I feel like I'm getting like a mesh of things for different people who are going to see this, but we're all part of a soul tribe. We all share a soul truth. We all have our essence and our energy to connect with you could be the professional or the hobbyist you know you could be religious or you could just you know be spiritual you could you could be whatever you want to be at any moment you choose you put it out there you connect you trust and and just let spirit guide you on your mission and in your life and it'll guide you to the right people the right places the right opportunities when you believe that when you're like i know everything's working out for me i know everything's going to be fine for me i know i'm happy and loved and supported and i know that timo is pretty cool pretty cool man pretty freaking cool man what do you think under 20 bucks it was 20 bucks actually 20 bucks because then i could do it with um the after pay so it was like five dollars a month 